so we are discussing about the topic of square roots and cube roots so we are going to find the square roots and the cube roots using various different methods in this topic but before that we will try to know what are square numbers and cube numbers so these are the different types of numbers we need to identify before we actually go to finding the square root so let's start with perfect squares and square numbers as the initial topic contents of the topic what we are discussing for today so so if i can express any rational number as a square of any a rational number expressed as a square of another rational number then that rational number is called a perfect square a rational number which can be expressed as square of another rational number is called a perfect square so a perfect square is a rational number which can be expressed as a square of another rational number so let's see with an example what numbers form a square number perfect squares and what numbers do not form perfect squares for example i have 4 i can write this as 2 square so 4 is a perfect square next 9 I can write as three square, so nine is a perfect square. I have sixteen. I can write this as four square, so sixteen is a perfect square. I have one point four four, which I can write it as one point two whole square because twelve times twelve is one forty four. So one point four four, which is a decimal or a rational number, can be expressed as one point two whole square. So one point four four is called a perfect square. So these are the various examples of perfect squares where it's the definition clearly says that a rational number which can be expressed as a square of another rational number. So all these are rational numbers which are expressed as squares of the other rational numbers existing in the number system. So this is the definition of a perfect square. Next, if I have the next definition here is the square numbers now the square numbers are defined with the same definition but instead of rational i have an integer so the definition says an integer in the previous case it was a rational number but here it is an integer and we have discussed integers and rational numbers in the previous session when we were discussing about the number system so an integer which can be expressed as square of another integer is called A square number. So this is how we define the square number, where <laughs> an integer which can be expressed as square of another integer is called a square number. So let's see some examples for square numbers. So an integer which can be expressed as square of another integer is called a square number. For example, if I take four, this can be written as two square. Therefore, four is a square number. Four is also a perfect square, but it's also a square number because four is an integer, and square of that, which is two, is also an integer. And then I take sixteen, which is four square. So sixteen also is a square number. If I take two eighty nine, which is nothing but seventeen square, then two eighty nine is also a square number. It is also a perfect square. But if I take which is square of this is not a square number because this is not an integer 
not a square number since 0 0.01 does not belong to z so this does not belong to set of integers therefore this property does not make this a square number but this is a perfect square next if i have say for example i have 7 I can express 7 as square of another number say this can be written as root 7 into root 7 which is 7 therefore this can be written as root 7 whole square but since 7 is root 7 whole square is neither a square number nor a perfect square because root 7 is is not a square number and is not a perfect square since the rule says that it should be either a rational number for being a perfect square it should be an integer for being a square number root 7 is neither an integer nor a rational number it is an irrational number therefore since root 7 does not belong to z and root 7 does not belong to q therefore it satisfies <coughs> this leads to not being a square number this leads to not being a perfect square so these kind of numbers which can be expressed as square of the roots cannot be a per perfect square or a square number these kind of ex examples do not include in either of the square numbers or the perfect squares so when we have seen the two de basic definitions of the square numbers and perfect squares we should be able to differentiate the main difference which stands between this and this for perfect squares, the numbers considered must be rational and for square numbers, the numbers considered must be only integers. So the question is about finding all square numbers between 1 and 100. So square numbers, let's start with 2 square, which is 4. Next, the next square number is 3 square, which is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square 25, 6 square 36. 7 square 49, 8 square 64, 9 square 81 and 10 square is 100 but I don't take this because I want all square numbers between 1 and 100 exclusive. I don't include 1 and 100. So the square numbers here are identified to be B, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81 and 100. So these are the per square numbers which are identified in case of the values between 1 and 100. So the square numbers between 1 and 100 are totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 square numbers between 1 and 100 is how I identify in case of this example problem.